All right, so today we are trying out some arena matches uh, with Omega Red. Uh, I'm just trying to find the highest. Okay, this is the rank 21, 837,000. It's pretty close to mine, which is 825,000. Uh, I'm wondering who should I be replacing uh, Omega Red with? I'm feeling like Adam Warlock. I have no idea will this work or not, but let's just give it a go and just see how it goes. All right, let's get in. I was sort of uh, sad that uh, with my testing, it seems that Omega Red is totally useless uh, in, in the Doom Raids, so that's a bummer. At least if you have uh, the full Axeman team for your Mutant Notes. Uh, so I'm hoping I get some value out of him now that I've gotten quite uh, quite high. So let's just go with the usual plan of uh, hitting special on lowest target. His or hers uh, file level was like 170,000, so I'm not going to be bashing my head uh, against that one. So let's take Moon Dragon because he's quite a bit lower and see how it goes. I would love to have that ultimate ready for <laughs> for the first turn on Omega Red, but yeah, you can't have it all. But yeah, let's just see if you can still manage to snatch a victory from here. So, we have a chance of doing an ability block, but since they have, um, uh, they have, uh, uh, cannot be blocked, but it's not unavoidable, so, and they have a, the only target that would make sense to use that on would be Phyla Well, but Phyla Well has, uh, uh, immunity and evade, so there's no chance that that would land, so, there was no point in using that. Sort of the same way as as we do on the on the regular Infinity Watch uh, mirror match. All right, so gonna be doing the usual stuff. So just terminal rewinding, Gamora, and giving ourselves a bit of pudding room. And let's go and kill her. And definitely gonna be killing her next. So, there's nothing that uh, Omega Red has brought to the table so far. And to me, it feels like uh, as slow ha as he is, he might actually be quite useless. We can do the trauma ability block, uh, steal life on, on Adam Warlock, maybe in this point. Or we could be doing the flip, but the flip doesn't do much. Speed bar rewind, slow heal block. <laughs> Is that better than doing the ability block on Adam Warlock? I'm not sure. But it feels like if I had Adam Warlock here, I could be just doing that ability block or stun on someone. It would be working quite the same way as, as this was. So, not impressed on the, on the sequence here. Um... Yeah, just gonna go with the basic over here. So, to me, it seems like, as we all know, um, when attacking, it doesn't really matter what sort of a team you have. A lot of hybrid teams from the Infinity Watch can be... can work, and you can snatch victory. You can even punch up quite a bit with those. But... I think the real test is to uh, have him on, on defense and I don't feel like he brings anything to the board in defense because he can just be sniped down with Gamora like in another second. So feels like a bad option at the moment for defense. Uh, I'm quite sure that um, he will be at least um in some forms of the new arena meta that's coming after infinity watch um 
we have already seen that the Eternals have a lot of oh, arena uh, arena stuff in their kit. And of course Dormammu. And I'm feeling like uh, Omega Red and maybe even uh, maybe even parts of the new warriors could be as they shown in the in the video of uh, of Dormammu, the intro video or whatever you call it, they showed new warriors in there and I'm feeling like it could work. They're a bit squishy, but maybe with the Eternals, Dormammu take it be take it be worth it. The Dormammu passive revival definitely makes them a lot harder uh, targets because I feel like uh, usually if you just kill them fast, they can cannot do their uh, ultimates, and the ultimates are like the real leave from them. So the passive revival from Dormammu will be giving them the chance to actually do those ultimates, and once they actually get to land those, you might be in a serious trouble. So that's why I'm feeling like they might have uh, wanted to show that new Warriors team with them. But I cannot be entirely sure. But let's see this one. Okay. <clears throat> okay, they file a well. It's a baby file a well. Even though it's an 800,000 team. So yeah, file a well is definitely the snipe target in here. I'm usually just checking uh, file a well and moon dragon firstly. If they're, one of them is like... Uh, way lower than the other i will be going for the lower one firstly and if they're beefy i might even go for um um a lower powered nebula firstly but i'm pretty sure that everyone knows this this isn't there's nothing special about this everyone knows how it works so probably not telling you anything new all right so as we saw in there again, um, the special from Omega Red was really not an option because the, you cannot hit. Um, okay, we're actually getting in a bit of a trouble. All right, so let's see about this. Okay, so it's seven hundred stars. How the hell is this a eight hundred thousand team? Feels weird. All right. Doesn't matter too much. Let's go over here. I, I like to kill Kamura when they have their offense up. Just to make sure that they got to use the offense up. I'm going to go over here. Um, can't remember what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Omega Red are, are special. It's really hard to use that when when Philo Will is coming up next with the cleans. So, yeah, that's bad. So you cannot really use it on the first turn. So the sequence is not really working against the Infinity Watch. But at this point I'm feeling like I'm definitely going to go with the ultimate over here and just get some something cool going on. <laughs> yeah, that feels good. That feels definitely good. It's really nice to uh, flip all those buffs and yeah. Not going to lie, that feels good, but still feels like... Uh, well... Does it really bring you anything? Anything that you didn't have before? Uh, don't feel like it. I feel like um, maybe if um, if you are unlucky that you, you, you don't have Anna Warlock and you still have the rest of the Infinity Watch at good levels, uh, this could be a potential uh, uh, fifth for the team, definitely. People have been using like um, uh, Doom and Kestrel, and uh, both of those are like sort of bad choices because they just die on the first turns because the Mirror in Infinity Watch can just go bonkers on the on the Kestrel, the Doom, and kill them before before they get to do anything. So they they haven't been really working on defense. Uh, they're still pretty okay in offense, but let's face it, feels like if you have the uh, the Infinity Watch, Infinity Watch ladies, as Mobile Gamer says it, <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter who the fifth is. 
if you have a decent character in there, you mostly most likely will be getting all those victories that you need. Uh, so my conclusion doesn't seem to be bringing anything into the current uh, arena meta, but I'm still hopeful that uh, he might bring something once we get Dormammu and once we get the Eternals. Uh, there might be something in there. He's not definitely. He's definitely not a slouch. He's he's a good character and has good abilities, but has that f sort of a uh, Doctor Octopus feeling in a sense that uh, you might not be uh, s like sort of be aware of all that he, all the good things that he does during the match. So hard to sort of like uh, give him a value, but at the moment it seems like you don't need it. You don't need him in the arena. Uh, at the moment, it seems that you don't need him in the raids. So, uh, is the wars the only place you can actually use him and get some value out of him? I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to be testing him on the Dark Dimension as well. I'm, I'm feeling like that might be the, the only real value at the moment besides war. But, yeah. If you hanged out this long, thank you for watching and press the like button if you enjoyed this um, and if you want to see more of my videos and hope to see you again. Bye!